Food becomes the challenge. Which is why Tom Robson has to choose wisely. This is beef wellington, and that's, that's dough, that's flour, that's lots of carbohydrates. But when the type 1 diabetic is hooked up to this, an artificial pancreas, it does the work. When I'm on this, I could nibble these things, and the system would help to keep me in the right range. The Virginia man, many are now calling the bionic man, is one of a handful of type 1 diabetics involved in a clinical trial at the University of Virginia, testing the viability of an artificial pancreas. I think the artificial pancreas is going to be a major breakthrough for the management of type 1 diabetes. Unlike other artificial body parts, this one comes in three external parts. So in this case, it's all existing technologies that are worn outside the body, being brought together for the first time with a pocket computer to run them. It's an insulin pump, a continuous glucose sensor which reads blood sugar levels, and a smartphone programmed to run it all. It's the brains. It takes the data feed from the sensor and it gives instructions to the pump. And right now it's gone to red light. So if this was green, it would mean everything was fine, but it's gone to red saying, you're going low. During the clinical trial, Bromson has even worn the artificial pancreas home for several days. It started to give me extra insulin and then I watched the number plateau and then watched it come back down and then land exactly where it was supposed to be. It pulled back on the insulin, and then it kept me right where I was supposed to be. I had perfect overnight control. A welcome break from the hour-by-hour hour balancing act type 1 patients have to endure. When this system takes over, I don't have to do that, and it's a pretty awesome vacation.